Hey guys, it's Bombi TV. If you're new here, please don't to like, share, subscribe to my channel so you can join the family, guys. Guys, today we'll be checking out one of my best. Like, I can say my mentor. Like, he inspires me. Like, he is really good. I'm checking out Jordan Peterson. Like, when it comes to, like, so men we need to follow in this life, like, you want to scale them 1 to top 100, like 1 to 10, like he's going to be among among the top 5 guys, he is good. Like, I feel like he's this kind of open book, like he expresses himself in a kind of amazing way and he speaks for a lot of men. It's good, like I just love him, I'm in love with him to be honest. Guys, I'm checking him out now and it's going to be why I married my wife. Wow, I, I need to check this out, guys. I need to check this out, guys. Let's go straight into this. Why did you marry her? Oh. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you one of the earliest <laughs> memories I have of my wife because it kind of tells you what she's like. Eh? So she lived across the street from me in this little town that we grew up in called Fairview, Ooh. Alberta. And I think I fell in love with her the moment that I saw her. And uh, although I don't think the feeling was necessarily mutual. And so I was about like seven, I think, something like that. So I've known her for like 48 years. And here's one memory, because this is, there are two memories I'll tell you. So one of them was um, when I was in grade five, I got glasses. And I was pretty proud of these glasses. They were horn rimmed glasses, you know, and, and I was pretty proud of them. And I went out and I she came out onto the street and she looked at my glasses. I said, what do you think of those? And she says, I think you look really funny in those. And then she pointed at me and ran into her house. And it was like 20 years later that she finally told me that she had always wanted to have glasses and she was jealous about it. But, you know, she decided she'd give me a good teasing and a good poke. And so that, and then we used to play croquet together. And one of the great delights she would take is, I don't know if you've ever played croquet, but you know, you're sometimes the one person's ball that they're hitting and another person's will come together and then you can stand on your ball and you can nail it with the croquet mallet and like knock yeah. the other person's um, croquet ball halfway down the block and she used to think that was pretty damn amusing when she did it to me so but yeah I mean I told my dad when I was in grade five I, I was sitting with her on this big um, armchair in our living room and she well, was sitting beside remembers. me on the armchair which I was pretty damn thrilled about and, and she was being chased around by all the boys in the school at that point, even though she that was in the elementary school, you know. So she was very uh, hot property, let's say, among the elementary school boys. And so I was pretty happy to have her sit by me. And so anyway, she left and I told my dad that I was going to marry her. And uh, I remember that. And he told that story at our wedding, which was quite cute. And then I'll tell you one more story, which I really think is funny. This is so funny. So we... We were friends when we were kids and then, you know, girls mature faster than boys and she's a year older than me because I skipped a grade in school. We were in the same grade in school. And so, you know, when she hit about 13 or so, we kind of went our separate ways a little bit, although we still remained friends. And she had a paper route and I took her paper route over when she hit 13 or so and I like quadrupled the damn thing, I think, which I think is pretty cool. funny. But um, I also delivered paper to her house and... Um, one day she was there with another, another of her friends and, uh, who was a kind of a cute chick too. And I liked her quite a bit and they were sitting around talking about like talking about how they were, uh, feminists, roughly speaking. And they were talking when I walked in about the fact that neither of them were going to take their husband's last name when they got married. And, uh, Tammy, my wife, I think said to her friend, well, that really means I'm going to have to find some wimp and marry him. And she turned around and looked at me and smiled evilly and said, Hey, Jordan, uh, do you want to get married? And of course, I'd heard the whole conversation. And, you know, she knew I liked her, obviously. And so that was a nice little oh. comical dig. She has a very vicious sense of humor. And, you know, I kind of laughed and I thought, ha, ha, ha. Okay, yeah, okay. Mm, so fine. So then when we were, I was like 28 and she had come to see me in Montreal and, um, we were talking about getting married and she said we were talking about what that would mean and then we started talking about what the name would be and I said hey I've got a story for you um, remember when you were 13 and I was delivering papers to your house and because uh, I suggested that she take my last name and she wasn't so sure about that and I said well you remember that little story that that little episode that we had when you were 13 and I came over to your house and you told me that you weren't going to take 
your, your husband's name and that you're going to have to marry some wimp? He said, okay, well, you know, here I am. But, you know, if we're going to get married, you're going to take my name. And that's the <laughs> end of that argument. Well, no, God. Why, why, why would this end now? Like, I was really into it. Like, I'm picturing him having a conversation with her. Like, it's amazing. Like, when I say love is a beautiful thing, I love is indeed beautiful. When you share it with the right person. Like, I feel Jordan Peterson really shared it with an amazing person. Because the way he's talking about her, the smile coming out from his face, the memory. Like, I feel this is how love is supposed to be. When you think about it, you just have to smile all through. God, I don't know what we're changing love to this recently, guys, because this is the way it's supposed to be. And she's a year older than him. Shall I, when I say age is just a number, it is just a number. Guys, please just like, share, subscribe to my channel. Guys, leave a commentation in my comment section, guys. We want to check out more of Jordan Peterson. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.